While the words postal museum don't necessarily conjure up visions of an exciting day out, don't be fooled. This new museum in Clerkenwell has become hugely popular since it opened eight months ago. It's very impressive, it's very informative, and it, it, there's lots of facts here which you just would never guess uh, or know about yourself, so I'm very pleased with it. My great-grandfather was a postman and I'm into family history, so I'm going around taking photos of things that were there in his lifetime. I love that they have a playgroup for children, um, we go there very often, and he loves to look at like cars and trains and stuff, so yeah, we go here very often and he loves it. <laughs> For train fans, what could be better than this? Carriages which once transported post under London, now carrying paying passengers. From 1927, the post train ran from Paddington to the Eastern District Office beyond Whitechapel until 2003. It's this kind of experience which has caught the judges' attention. The Postal Museum's had a real transformation. It used to be visited by about 3,000 academics a year as an archive, and now it's transformed into a visitor experience with interactive exhibits that's visited by uh, potentially nearly 200,000 visitors a year. To say they're chuffed here is an understatement. The staff can't quite believe they've been shortlisted for an award which they describe as the Oscars for museums. Not only are we a relatively small organisation, but we're very new. You know, we've only been open since last September. And so having recognition of this scale is really a vote of confidence in everything that we're doing. If it wins, the museum wants to extend its educational offering, but it won't find out until July.